Hey guys, how's it going? I have to excuse the mess in here, I've just been doing a bit of work on this motor. Uh, but this is just a quick video for anyone that that owns one of these old YSC8 Yanmars. Uh, they were quite common in sort of the 70s and 80s, I believe. And put in a lot of, a lot of sailboats, and some of them still have these uh, old motors in them. So if you've got one of these and the battery's gone flat, then um, this is what you got to do. So this is the motor I've got here. And you can see it's got this crank handle with it. So it can take a fair bit of effort, especially if it's cold. Uh, admittedly, I have been working on this one, so it's warmed up a little bit. All right, I'll see if I can video, get a video on, show you exactly what you meant to do. <clears throat> um, so on the left-hand side down here, uh, you'll see there's this thing here, it's a decompression lever. Uh, you, it's pretty unlikely you're going to be able to start the motor without that. So the process um, is pretty much, you've got to be super careful where you put your hands where you go to start it, but you've got to hold that lever open, and it may look, oh, it, sh it should be in the same place in your boat, uh, but hold that lever open where you crank the handle over to a fast enough speed, then you can let that go, and you continue trying to uh, crank the handle. Right, so this is the difficult bit, trying to actually film it while I do this. Uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, so obviously you've got your handle on here, you've got to make sure that the uh, sharp edge, or the, the flat edge I should say, lines up in the direction that you want to, uh, to turn it. So this is going to turn in an anti-clockwise direction. <clears throat> if I was to put that, that one on there, like that, that would just slip out of there. So you've got to make sure that you've got that sort of hooked in, so to speak. And once you've got that on, make sure you've got your motor actually switched on. You hit the decompression lever. Right, so there's a couple of things I should probably add quickly. Uh, hopefully you can hear me with that running. <coughs> Obviously if you're running it, if you're starting it from cold, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder. You may have to do it a few times. Um, <coughs> just make sure you keep that effort going as it, as it starts turning over. Um, the motor obviously pick up speed and, and you can stop then. Uh, the other thing is, I have the chain guard, the safety guard off the chain at the moment. Um, it's not ideal, you shouldn't really do that. Uh, that is this bit here. It usually would go over that chain. Uh, I've just got that off. The, I've just got that off because I'm doing a bit of work on it. So uh, just, a, I guess, a word of safety. You just want to make sure that you keep your fingers clear of any moving parts of the motor. I know that kind of goes without saying, but um, yeah, you definitely don't want to get your hand caught in there. So, well, thanks for watching this. Hopefully, it uh, gives someone a bit of help. And if you've got any questions, uh, just yeah, ask below. Cheers.